I am a researcher of the paranormal, a claim you've no doubt heard innumerable times. In truth, I don't care if you believe me or not on that matter, as we all have our own beliefs. I know what is real, and I think you're all intelligent enough to decide for yourselves whether or not I am genuine. What I'm about to share with you is the story of an entity known as Mr. Odd, whom I've been tracking for several years now, receiving many emails and letters, as well as the occasional phone call or visit from people who have claimed to encounter the creature in some form or another. The earliest account of Mr. Odd appears to have been in 1969, where a group of friends camping out claimed to have been awoken one night to a horrific sight. A bald man's head attached to an impossibly long neck, literally slithering its way into their tent like a blasphemous snake. The campers panicked, but almost as soon as the creature appeared, it retreated into the night. The following day, the shocked campers packed their things and headed back into the city. After this, several other campers in the area claimed to have similar encounters. Even one claimed that the creature took a large chunk from his leg, which showed signs of being mauled, though doctors dismissed it as a bear or wild animal. Eventually, reports died away. And now the phenomena is pointed only very rarely, though many campers still claim to experience strange feelings of dread in the area, as if being watched by an unknown force. Starting in 1986, the Mr. Odd phenomenon took a decidedly darker path as people in the city began to tell stories of being attacked at night by a bald man's head attached to an impossibly long neck. Victims never seeing any part of the creature's body, many also claim the creature is gigantic in size, though some claim it's only slightly bigger than a human. These city-based attacks were decidedly more violent than those in the late 60s and early 70s, with people often blaming Mr. Odd for the disappearance of family pets or children. In one particular disturbing case, a man convicted of killing his entire family claimed they were devoured by a monster that was described as being very similar to the creature known as Mr. Odd. At the height of these city attacks, a small group of vigilant-style hunters scoured the streets and after several nights claimed to have fatally wounded the creature, though they were unable to track down its body. Mr. Odd remained inactive until the late 1990s, when new reports came, this time taking another impossible twist. People claimed that they were being attacked by a supernatural being capable of emerging from television sets, computer screens, or even in one case, from under a victim's bed. Again, reports were of a bald man's head attached to an impossibly long neck, the rest of the creature's body unable to be seen, if there was even there at all. Now, I don't know if these recent reports are the result of an overactive imagination, mass hysteria, or a clever hoax, but I do know for certain that the Mr. Odd phenomenon is by no means over. If you happen to be a researcher in the paranormal or simply seeking out the unknown, perhaps it would be worth your while to check this out further. I, for one, remain fascinated, if not slightly unsettled, by this modern-day legend.